girl V, I'd like you to relax and take a deep breath. Nurse, please start the power down procedure. Caregiver reports poor response time. Patient showing signs of low voltage. Birth date 02 04 2018. Compressed air. Flex extension. Driver with number three flathead. Jimmy. Doctor, we're losing him. Boosters. Mr. LG, stay with us, okay? Everything's going to be fine. Nurse, another boost. We've lost him. This is the second one this month. Should we just order some takeout? Well, look at you. You've taken it upon yourself to do surgery on your electronics. Good for you, and I mean it, that's really great. And you probably came across this cool little tool pack, the iFixit Protect Toolkit, because you wanted one tool pack to rule them all. Right? Right. I've owned my iFixit Protect Toolkit for six years now, and I've brought it with me to all sorts of repair jobs. So I've had the chance to find out what it does well, what it doesn't do well, and how it can be improved. And I'm going to share all that with you right now. This is a review of the iFixit Protect Toolkit. Let's get started. The iFixit Protect Toolkit is an all-in-one kit for electronics repair. It costs about $70 US or $90 if you're in Canada because we pay more for everything. Let's walk through all the tools included in this kit. And by the way, iFixit has made some minor revisions to some of these tools since the one that I own is the first generation, but the current release is pretty much the same as the one that I have. First item is the anti-static wrist strap. Quality on this one is good and the clamp jaws are nice and strong. You'll need this if you're touching circuit boards or other sensitive electronics. Suction handle, which is used for removing phone and tablet touchscreen glass. Opening tools for damage-free prying apart. These have a sharp edge, but are made out of soft, waxy plastic. As their engraving says, they are designed to get destroyed with use. So the tool takes the abuse and not your repaired device. I use these the most. They're great. Opening picks, also for damage-free prying. I don't use these much since they are a bit too soft and flimsy, but they're still good to have. Spring-loaded reverse tweezers. Useful for grabbing cables or tiny screws in hard to reach areas. Angled tweezers, also for grabbing things in hard to reach areas. Blunt tweezers, these have serrated tips for added grip. Spudgers, this is a static proof, all purpose tool for separating and moving components on circuit boards and other sensitive electronics. Metal spudger, obviously not static proof since it's made out of metal. This tool is very hard and rigid, so it will damage your electronics or other plastic components if you're not careful when you use it. This is a Jimmy. It has a flexible blade and a rubberized handle for prying things apart. I use this one really often. The blade is a bit flimsier than I'd like, but it gets the job done. Flex extension. This is meant to be used with the 64-bit driver, which I will talk about after. You insert the flex extension's male end into the driver's chuck and it snaps into place. It's not as flexible as I'd like it to be, so I don't use the flex extension very much. Speaking of which, here is the 64-bit driver. It's made out of machined aluminum, has a textured handle for easy turning, and it works great. The driver bit heads are easy to swap out since it uses a magnetic chuck. This will be your most used tool in this kit, guaranteed. All of these tools are decent quality. Not as good as, say, Wira tools, but they're pretty good. The iFixit Protect Toolkit also comes with a full comprehensive set of 64 driver bits. Just about every type of bit imaginable is included in this kit. From Phillips to Torx to Gamebit to TriPoint, and the Protect Toolkit's ethylene vinyl acetate or EVA foam tray makes them easy to organize and access. The underside of the driver bit set's case lid is also an organizing tray, complete with small raised compartments for organizing tiny screws and other disassembled parts. The tray is a nice little touch from the iFixit team, but as useful as it is, I have two complaints about it. One, the tray is not magnetized, so your screws will slide and move around, making these small raised compartments totally useless. So all of your screws will get mixed together if the lid gets moved around at all. And if you drop the tray or it gets knocked off your work desk, it will send all of your tiny electronic screws scattering across the floor. And that means lost screws and lots of swearing. No! Second complaint, the organizing tray is black. This is not helpful at all. Why? Because what color are a lot of electronics and appliances screws? Black, or some other darker gray color, especially when they get dirty with usage and time. So they blend in with the tray's dark color. They're basically camouflaged. And if you're working in a darker environment, this problem gets a lot worse. 
This tray should be lighter colored so you can see the parts that you're organizing. A color like orange or white would be a better choice than black. Now about the driver bit set. As I mentioned before, it's a very complete set and that's awesome but the driver bit's build quality leaves a lot to be desired. The driver bits are soft and vulnerable to bending and even stripping. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that precision drivers are meant for precision and not But I already had one slotted bit bend on me after its first use. That was really disappointing. But iFixit does have a lifetime warranty for the entire kit. So if something breaks, they will replace it free of charge for as long as you own the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. And that's exactly what they did for me when I emailed them a photo of my bent bit. They sent me a new one free of charge. However, even the most generous warranty doesn't help you if you got your oven control module disassembled and all over your kitchen counter. And it's especially annoying if you do paid repair work because now your project is delayed while you wait for the replacement bit to arrive. And as I mentioned previously, the bit case itself is made out of ethylene vinyl acetate. It's like a squishy, pliable foam, and it does a great job holding your driver bits. But it can be tough to find and identify your driver bit. Just look here. The engraved symbols are tiny, and their engraving is set onto a dark background. The engraved symbols should be lighter colored, so they contrast with the bit case's black EVA material. But all said and done, the iFixit ProTech Toolkit is quite versatile. It has most of the tools that you'll need for electronics repair work. A short list of things that I fixed using the iFixit ProTech Toolkit, a sewing machine, a camera lens adapter, a Nest doorbell camera, a Nest Yale lock, a vehicle's fading clock unit, a truck's climate control mechanism, a rattle behind the dashboard in a hybrid vehicle, a malfunctioning garage light, a car remote battery, a watch battery replacement, an unresponsive mechanical keyboard, a Dyson vacuum cleaner, a range control board, and that's only what I've captured on video. There was more. So as much as I'd like it, the iFixit ProTech Toolkit is missing two important things. One is a ratchet style driver tool because sometimes a driver doesn't fit into smaller spaces. Here's one scenario. I was fixing a sewing machine and the space between the machine's presser foot and its throat plate was very small. There was no room to maneuver. So I couldn't fit my iFixit driver in to disassemble its bobbin compartment. So a thin profile ratcheting tool like this one from the Chapman Manufacturing Company would be a perfect addition to the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. I love my Chapman ratchet, but I just wish that I didn't have to purchase it separately. The iFixit ProTech Toolkit is also missing a precision screw extractor. Anyone who has ever repaired electronics knows that half the screws that you'll be removing in any repair project will get stripped, regardless of how careful you try to be. I'm actually surprised that iFixit decided not to include a set of screw extractors, because a set of extractors is a lifesaver. Strip screws can really screw you over. With that said, I do like the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. It's pretty complete. It's nice and compact, so it's easy to throw into a backpack or just carry in your hand. If you're heading over to a buddy's house to help him fix something, you can just throw it onto your car seat and away you go. The iFixit ProTech Toolkit has a wide array of useful tools, but is it worth the $70 admission price? Yes. You can tell that the iFixit ProTech Toolkit was thoughtfully designed by electronics repair nerds, and that counts for a lot. I do recommend the iFixit ProTech Toolkit to anyone who owns electronics and has an interest in fixing them, whether you're a homeowner, consumer, or professional. That's the review. I hope you all found this useful, and if you did, hit that like button, or go all the way and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's gonna be fun, so yeah, subscribe and don't look back. Maybe I'll put my nurse scrubs back on for you. Bye!